I'm going to improvise over a backing track, then I'm going to listen back to what I did, tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I was thinking. Here we go. Let's take a look. Really like that opening melodic passage. I think it makes a lot of sense. Da 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 the main melody and then all the other notes help you get from point to point. I really like that melodic shape. It's a good way to start. I'm using a much different melodic shape here, but I'm still using the same rhythm, so the motif is continuing. So there I switched to a higher gain setting because I've been getting feedback in the comments like you should try using more fuzz and higher gain and stuff and I was like that's a good point I should So there something cool happened I played a G harmonic right there on the 12th fret and I moved it up a half step first and then another whole step, so a total of a minor third. Now my guitar couldn't do that yesterday, but it can today because my friend Elliot Klein, wonderful YouTuber, check him out. He showed me this video of Carl Verheyen uh, talking about cool whammy bar setup secrets. He shows that if you angle the springs in the back like in that kind of way, it lets you get a minor third on your G string when you use the whammy bar. So here's G and here's up a minor third. So my whammy bar could only do a half step yesterday but I changed my setup and now I can do a minor third. So thanks Elliot and thanks Carl. <laughs> There I'm using a cool Marty Friedman technique, which is you play a note that really shouldn't work with the track, like... And you bend it up a half step. If we listen to the track, this note is not very good. But if I bend it right away, it has a cool sauce to it. This note is also not very good, but I bend it with the sauce. So it's like... I'm all about that whammy bar today. Here's a cool trick. You need a good amount of gain for this. You play a note pretty low on the fretboard. And then you tap itself up an octave on the same string. 
you get that nice harmonic, and then you bend. You can do it from an already bent position, too. This is a really expressive thing. Really like doing that. Go. I did this thing where you bend really high up and then you get even higher by putting your pinky down fretting up a minor third from where you bent so, I really like that trick so when you've bent all the way and you're like I need more just use the pinky to fret a note while you're holding the bend, and it's nice. I really like this solo in general. Uh, I played pretty differently because of the high gain. I've been having a lot of fun with this high gain patch. It just reminds me of the old days when I was in high school or college, and I was always playing on tones like this. I love the way that harmonics come out and I love how easy it feels to sustain notes. I want to quickly show you a, a guitar moment that I saw the other day on one of Paul David's videos that I really liked. <laughs> I love that moment where it's all the cool shredding stuff and then it resolves into that beautiful cascade of bends that ends on what sounds like maybe a key change or like just fits so into so nicely into the next section. So that's my inspiration for the day. I want to do something like that in the future. And if you'd like me to give you feedback on your music, head on over to benlevinmusicschool.com where I have lessons and courses. <laughs>